What up, YouTube, once again? Um, yours truly is with you. To me, dear life, food for dog, graveyard licks, Nazarene music. We are here with you. Much love, much unity, prosperity, prosperity in the right ways, of course. Really quickly again. I always say really quickly because it is I mean we're doing this really quickly But a food for thought an important food for thought we often ask ourselves Especially these days with all the social media and etc. And etc We always ask ourselves or we always secretly wonder what is beauty or what is true beauty well, let's think about this and you know if you travel let's say uh, to Europe and you get to visit some of these colossal and grand and huge castles or palaces and you walk inside a palace and you see all this supposedly priceless artwork and you see all of this decor and you see all of these designs and you see you know priceless supposedly priceless furniture ancient you know tables and couches and gold everywhere and you know people kind of step back and they say wow this is so beautiful or on instagram you see a girl let's say or a guy but let's stick to a girl because it's more prevalent these days a girl with poofy lips and huge boobs and a huge butt and makeup all over and you stand a lot of these men most of these men are standing back and saying wow that is beautiful and we always keep ask this question is older than time itself to the point that even scientists came up with such a thing as golden ratio to explain to us what is the geometrically the perfect shape of a nose and eyes and all of these other things and then they tell us that the way scientists again tell us the way that we fall in love is because of a chemical reaction you know you smell the human being first and then you see the golden ratio and for men you see the shape of a butt and knees and reminds you of breast because you think uh, you know like a baby you want to be breastfed again on so on and so on and so forth and they give us all these theories but we can witness ourselves that that is so not true because love true love doesn't have a shape or a size or anything this is again i always keep saying this this is why we see so much to us what seems like odd couples around the world a super tall girl with a super short guy a super fat guy with a super skinny girl and so on and so forth this is why love doesn't have a smell love doesn't have a preference and same thing goes for beauty why do you think going back to the whole palace conversation when you walk into these countless of palaces in Europe and the tour guide might explain to you why this is so beautiful and without even thinking extra about it you know because it is so colorful because it is so shiny you think wow this is beautiful but we don't stop and think about the evil the evil that is hidden behind these palaces the countless of centuries of rape pillaging murder and sick twisted things that most of these monarchies have engaged in and think about this true beauty and god doesn't need to or god manifesting through beauty through love doesn't need to prove himself or herself that it is beautiful a butterfly gliding in a field full of sunflowers doesn't need to prove to you that it is beautiful it is there it is beautiful but 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 evil evil true evil it needs to prove itself it needs to prove that it is beautiful it needs to disguise itself as much as it can 
that's why true evil builds these super huge structures and paintings and decorations just to throw us off from its true nature think about it while we are on a constant search for beauty and what beauty is the next time you wake up in the morning and you are blessed enough to wake up in the morning next to your beloved and you see their eyes being open or you hear your child running in and screaming daddy daddy or mommy mommy wake up and you feel their juvious ju <laughs> happy heart trying to get you out of bed realizing that moment that that is what true beauty is that is god manifesting live in front of you without any explanation without any theory without the need to have an explanation or a theory it simply is a flower blooming trees growing bees pollinating that is true beauty and we are so caught up in this endless rat race that we race right past true beauty on a search of false beauty we are being told what beauty is and that is what beauty is not at all again only the real evil needs to disguise itself so much throw you off so much that it builds these colossal walls that it throws money in your face that it throws makeup in your face remember not all is a diamond that shines we know cuban zirconians also shine so once again beauty is right in front of you in the most simplest and the most innocent and the most pure Nas famously said in one of his tracks but don't quote me on this because I'm not par paraphrasing he said we must be the God's, chi uh, God's children living amongst roaches and rats in the project buildings and that is true we think the suburban neighborhoods with their flashy houses are where God is and what beauty is but we know how much evil is disguised once again because it needs to be disguised and yet the forgotten streets of the ghetto and the hood all around the world where a little Beethoven or Mozart or Bruce Lee might be walking holding the keys to true beauty Fufuto, prove to me that you're alive. Love all of you. Uno.